Welcome to Soccer As We Like It, the Man United direction. Happy Halloween. It's Halloween scary night. Rrr. The night of the walking dead. The night that the veil is so thin that... You understand what I mean? Right, let's get right into it. As we know, as you... If you don't figure this out, you should know by now. In every, every main big sports media... There's a Liverpool pundit and there's a Man United pundit. But if you notice, the Liverpool pundits always bash Liverpool players. And I mean, when I mean bash, they criticise, they dissect, they decimate, and they literally destroy them in any way, form, or possible. Especially when they're not English. No, it is what it is. Right, let's get right into it. As we know, I have to take you guys back to the Fergie days. When United were the cream of the crop, the biggest team in English football, when Ferguson was the man at the helm, we had a team. We won the double in 94, won the double again in 96. But in 95 season, Alex Ferguson sold three great players from the 94 double team. Mark Hughes, Andre Kanchowskis and Paul Ince. He sold three great players and brought in the class of 92. Paul Scholes. David Beckham, Nicky Butt, Gary Neville, Philip Neville, and Grant Giggs, who was class of 91. He brought those kids in to join what was already left of the team that he was so three great players that won the double in 94. We got beaten 3-1 on the opening day, and an ex-Liverpool player was a pundit at the time for a show called Match of the Day in England, Alan Hansen, captain of England, a great a captain of Liverpool, the great Liverpool days of the 70s and 80s. He was a great player, a great captain, Scottish man, and he played his good, he did his part for Liverpool and he led Liverpool to victory. So he, he could talk, right? He could talk the talk and he walked the walk. But his decisions against Man United players, I'm going to play you a clip. Those of you who remember it, will remember what I'm talking about. Let's go. Let me get the clip for you. Right, here we are. See what I said? You can't win anything with kids. It's not enough. That was Alan Hansen, captain of Liverpool, ex-Liverpool player, pundit on match of the day in 1996. Let's fast forward. 26 years later, we are still dealing with this malarkey. Now is the turn of another Liverpool pundit, an ex-Liverpool player, Jimmy Carragher, didn't win a league title, won a Champions League, won league titles, won, didn't win a league title. Then there's also another one on Talk Sport called Graham Sunis. He and him, Alan St. Hansen played together in the great Liverpool 80 side. That's fine. They won Champions League, they won league titles. That is fine. But Jimmy Carragher in Sky Sports today, constantly bashing Martinez. Graham Sunis today, constantly bashing Martinez. Let's get right into it. Right, I'm going to read a clip from what these guys said. This guy is a clown. I'll tell you that, this guy is an absolute clown. Jamie Carragher, an ex-Liverpool player, currently a pundit on Sky Sports. I'm convinced this can't work because of the size of him playing in a back four. This is then critis this is Jimmy Carragher criticising Lasando Martinez for his shortness. He, he's been five foot nine. That every centre back has to be six foot two, six foot three, blah blah blah, which is an absolute load of bollocks. I'm convinced this can't work because of the size of him playing in a back four. The the former Liverpool defender said on Monday Night Football, maybe he could go left back or he could play in a back three, but in a back four, he cannot play there in the Premier League. What I will say about him, because of his size, is that is a problem for him. No matter what anyone says, being five foot nine is a problem. Carragher ruled out Martinez 
having any type of Sussex, any type of success in a centre back position in the Premier League. That was Jamie Carragher con- criticizing Lissandra Martinez that he's too short. He's five foot nine. He could have done in the in the I uh, in the Dutch league. This is the Premier League. You have to be six foot four, six foot five, six foot three. You have to be a giant. You have to be a big uh, centre back, centre back to be no. No, if you know how to anticipate, we've had giant defenders and we still conceded goals. We had Harry, 6'4", Lindelof, 6'3". We still were conceding goals. See, well, my point here, while you're watching the video, don't forget to smash a like, help us subscribe to this channel by helping us get to our level, by you supporting us, by giving us all the support, and by subscribing, by pressing the subscribe. The link is in the bottom, in the description. So just hit the subscribe link and subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much. So that was Jamie Carragher condemning, criticizing, writing off Ma- Lissandra Martinez, who has been United's player of the month in August. He's one man of the match. Every match, he's earning 7.5, 7.5, 7.5 out of 10. His passion, his aggression, his ability to leap higher than the six foot two, six foot three players they're complaining about. Now, that is Jimmy, that's Jimmy Carragher. Now, there's Graham Sunis, who spent the whole of his career talking about Pogba. Now that Pogba has left, he has no one else but to pick up another United player, which is Lissandro Martinez. Let's read out what he said. Now, this takes the cake. Graham Sunis described Lissandro Martinez as he's vertically challenged. In, to, he's vertically challenged to begin the start of his career in England. However, I remain unconvinced. The Reds icon turned pundit has asked if his opinion on the Martinez has changed since the opening experiences of the season. Well, you know, when United lost to Brighton, they lost to Brentford, but we had Harry, we had Lucio, we had Lindelof. Well, he told Talk Sport. The worry for me is still there. If you watch at set pieces, he's never used as a blocker or they use him on the near post. Asked if he'd gone too harsh on Martinez previously, Suna stood firm, adding, not at all. I still don't think he's terribly quick. I don't think he's terribly good on the ball. He went on to raise fears of his height and asked if Martinez could be found out. Of course. Anyone with common sense could tell you he will do because he's vertically challenged. Absolutely unacceptable. But this is what these guys talk about. Soonest, so we started with Alan Hansen talking about United can't win anything with the kids. And for your information, that season United won the double with the kids, FA and league title. He ate his words. Pie on the face. Jimmy Carragher, oh, he's too short. He's, there is no way... There's no way in English for Premier League he has to play out on the left or in a he can't play in a back four. It could be in a in a in a a, 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 a back three. There's no matter what anyone says, there's no way he'll be a success in the Premier League. That was Jimmy Carragher. We are playing Martinez is playing every week, week in, week out. And you can see the guy's passion. You can see his blocking. You can see his ferocity. Soonest follow suit. It's like they just passed on the baton to the next one. All right, you go have a pot at him. Oh, he's vertically challenged. To start his career in England, he's already vertically challenged. He can never win anything with United because he's too short. He's not terribly good on the ball. He's not really quick. He will be found out. Oh, yeah, they'll they'll definitely find him out. So you see how these pundits constantly, them three, Alan Hansen, back in the days, Liverpool, Scottish, Graham Sunis, ex-Liverpool, back in the day, Scottish. Jeremy Carga, ex-Liverpool, back in the day, English. Constantly bashing Liverpool, bashing Man United players. But they don't criticise Liverpool, who are struggling right now. I don't see them saying anything. That is what baffles me. I can't understand this or comprehend where these guys actually come off. What bust up they come off from. You see what I mean? 
if you're watching our video, don't forget to smash a like and please subscribe. We're on all the social media platforms. We're on Spotify as well. So I'm here to tell Jamie Carragher, Jamie, it's time. It's time to come off your high horse, take off the money suit and tie, sit down there in your regular clothes, probably a Martin Spencer jumper and some Burton shoes and a pair of uh, uh, trousers from Next and sit on the table and tell us how good Martinez really is because you can see how good he is. But can you admit it? Can you smell what the Martinez is cooking? I dare you to say every United player is waiting for Jamie. Jamie, you could always give me a call. Come on my channel, we could talk. And what you think about Lissandro Martinez. He's too short. That's what he said. You said he would never, ever. At five foot nine, it's a problem. I can't see him being any type of success as a centre-back in the Premier League. That was the off statement. That was what you said. No one said it, but you. I don't know. Sooners would never admit he's wrong. That's a no-no. That We know that's not grand. But for Jamie, take time out. Come out of the posh studio. Come out of the Armani suit. Put on your Burton jumper, your next shoes, and your regular outfit and come and be regular with one of us the real fans who know what we're talking about when it comes to martinez yes your next footballer but you can't judge a book by its cover mate just because he's five foot nine doesn't mean he cannot jump doesn't mean he can't anticipate his his aerial duels we've had taller defenders who have done worse than someone shorter it's about anticipation. It's not always about height, mate. Not always. As you know, no, you don't play basketball. It's not always about how tall your hands are. It's your ability to be able to put away the basket at the right time that matters. On that note, Jamie, I look forward for coming on your show or you come on my show, Jamie. It's obvious. That statement, Martinez, will have no type of success as a centre-back in the Premier League. But he's one man of the match, player of the month, playing as a centre-back. Three different centre-back partners with, L with L Lindelof, with Ari, with Varane. But this is where we are. So, Jamie, give me a call. Let's have, let's have a chat. Let's have a chat. I'm all the way in America, but I would pick up the phone and we could have a nice one, mate, and a cup of tea over it. And we could talk about Martinez. Yes, it's early days, but this guy is the beast. You better watch it. He's coming for you, mate. On that note, ladies and gentlemen, it's been an absolute pleasure. Enjoy your Halloween. We got ready for a big game on Thursday, Real Sociedad. We get rid of this talk about Martinez being too short, vertically challenged, all these bollocks these people are talking about. But we concentrate because we know this guy's quality. If this guy is showing this quality, the passion, you see the passion when himself, Dalo and the Gea, them three amigos, now you have Kusumer in front of them. I have Veran when he comes back. This is what you call Ministry of Defense. Be us if you can. We're on your number. From me, it's goodbye and good night. If you have anything to say, drop your comments. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much. I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Good night.